Good morning, everyone. I sit here and I'm speechless. And I'm usually never speechless. As an employer, you never think you would get this call. You never think that someone will tell you that someone who you loved, who worked with you as my coworker for seven years, was murdered caring for one of your clients. I've never thought in my life that I would be here. I'm born and raised in New Orleans. I've been here 41 years and I'm tired. I'm tired. At this point, we're in a society and we can't even go to work without being afraid. We can't get in our car without being afraid. This has to stop. We have to stop. At what point is enough is enough? Aaliyah was murdered at her job, caring for her client who she loved for seven years in front of it, in front of him. Her grandchild was there, five years old. At what point do we stop? My parents are still in New Orleans East. I work in New Orleans East. I find myself running to my car after work if I'm there till 5.30. When is enough? When does it stop? Please come forward. We have to stop this cycle. If we let this continue, then it's just going to perpetuate the violence. I'm begging you. I'm begging the citizens of New Orleans, please come forward with any information. Let it stop here. Let the tears stop here. Let the violence stop here. Let's come together as a community and say enough is enough. Let's take back our streets. We shouldn't have to live where we can't even go to work, where we can't go to the store, or we can't deliver groceries to our loved ones because we might not make it home. At what point do we say enough is enough? So I'm not standing here just as Aaliyah's employer. I'm standing here as a citizen of New Orleans and said, I'm tired of living in fear. I'm tired or I can't go to work. I'm tired I can't go to the store. I'm tired of afraid going to my father's house. I'm tired. And I hope you guys are tired too. Enough is enough. So we're begging, we're pleading. Let there be justice. So many people feel there's no justice anymore in New Orleans. And we get tired and we say, why well, turn ourselves in? Why well, talk about it? It's no justice. Let this be an example of justice. Thank you all. And I'm just begging anyone to please come forward. And let's get justice for Aaliyah. Thank you.